This next poem is is one of my favorite poems. Um, it's by Liesl Mueller, um, and it's called Alive Together. Speaking of marvels, I am alive together with you when I might have been alive with anyone under the sun, when I might have been Abelard's woman or the whore of a Renaissance pope or a peasant wife with not enough food and not enough love with my children dead of the plague. I might have slept in an alcove next to the man with the golden nose who poked it into the business of stars or, st or sewn a starry flag for a general with wooden teeth. I might have been the exemplary Pocahontas or a woman without a name, weeping in master's bed for my husband exchanged for a mule, my daughter lost in a drunken bet. I might have been stretched on a totem pole to appease a vindictive god or left a useless girl child to die on a cliff. I like to think I might have been Mary Shelley in love with a wrong-headed angel or Mary's friend. I might have been you. This poem is endless. The odds against us are endless. Our chances of being alive together statistically non-existent. Still, we have made it. Alive in a time when rationalists in square hats and hatless Jehovah's Witnesses agree it's almost over. Alive with our lively children who, but for endless ifs, might have missed out on being alive together with marvels and follies and longings and lies and wishes and air and humor and mercy and journeys and voices and faces and colors and summers and mornings and knowledge and tears and chance.